if we think about timing of implant placement and to answer the question of when immediate, when early and when late, and we confine our discussion to maxillary anterior single tooth sites, well, as I mentioned already, the early implant placement approach, type two with soft tissue healing, I regard as the default option because it suits most case types. Most of the time you're taking out the tooth, there is a vertical root fracture or there is a partial loss of the, buck, of the facial plate or there's a, a fistula formation or something is going on. The teeth are never perfect. Most of the time there's something wrong with them. So when you have any doubt, then the early implant placement approach type two with soft tissue healing for me is the one to default to. And in my practice today for these maxillary anterior cases, it represents about 80% of the cases that I treat today. Now, sometimes there needs to be a delay, as I mentioned. So that delay is usually to allow some bone healing, or it's sometimes because I want more soft tissue rebounding to take place in the aesthetic cases. Uh, and this is roughly about 5% of those maxillary anterior cases. Uh, I would adopt a type three on early implant approach. I'm always looking for cases that I can use immediate implants with immediate restoration because they're really, as I said, great cases to do. But the indications need to be perfect and you need to have that thick soft tissue and bone. You need to have the intact and thick bone. And then you can uh, adopt that immediate restoration uh, with these cases. And in, uh, in the practice, they represent about five to 10% of cases that I would treat for the maxillary anterior region today. And finally, late implant placement, which is the least desirable approach um, and should be, uh, and if it should be adopted for uh, whatever reason, then it's a strong recommendation to graft the socket. Uh, if you can't graft at the time of extraction because of infection, then what I would do is I would take the tooth out, allow resolution of infection, and then graft six to eight weeks later. It's like an early placement, but an early grafting protocol to reconstruct the ridge and then allow three to six months before the implants are placed. And maxillary anterior tooth sites, they're fairly rare that we have to do this and rough and usually less than 5% of uh, cases treated. So um, uh, and this is the final slide now, giving you the overall summary then of the timing of implant placement and the protocol that I adopt in my practice today with the uh, indications for each of these different time frames. So I hope this, um, this uh, lecture was of, of interest and that you are able to take uh, some useful information back to your practice and to use, use this uh, straight away with your clinical cases in, uh, in daily practice.